I had this dream when I was a kid that my mom took me to the zoo. We went to see the sea turtles and it was the first time ever that I had seen a sea turtle. It was immediate connection when I saw them. It just felt so natural and it was there that I knew that that's what I was meant to be. Elizabeth Rooney is a sea turtle. And in three days, she will join the sea turtles on their winter migration to the coasts of Costa Rica. She will bring no scuba equipment, food, or fresh water. Instead, she will eat seaweed and travel over 200 miles in the Gulf of Mexico. Sea turtles are just such noble creatures and, you know, they don't hurt people, but people hurt people and people hurt sea turtles and their world is just so peaceful and I, I want to be a part of that. I want to be in the ocean with them just swimming freely and, yeah, you know. Wanting to understand what made Elizabeth this way, we paid a visit to her mother, Esther Rooney, in Sebastian, Florida. We talked about her childhood, but nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Oh, she loved to swim growing up. Every year, Elizabeth wanted a new pair of goggles, which I thought was pretty normal for a kid. Um, but starting around the age of 14, she started wearing goggles pretty much all the time. At first, it was just during the day, but then I would notice after she went to bed at night, she also had goggles on. And there came a time when she was about 15 that she never took the goggles off. We were concerned, but we couldn't do anything. Elizabeth practices nesting at night as well. When we asked to film her, she demanded that we use this red light, which does not disturb sea turtles as they nest. In the morning, tragedy strikes. What did I do wrong? How am I supposed to be able to take care of sea turtle babies if I can't even take care of these? I'll just never be as perfect as a sea turtle. Yeah, she moved out when she was about 18. And as a mom, it was really, really difficult to watch Elizabeth go because I did have these concerns about her, but I had to let her. It's what's natural even if everything else wasn't. And I guess she was okay. Today, Elizabeth will join the sea turtles. She prepares herself for life in the ocean, a place like the universe, in constant dynamic motion, searching for unattainable stillness.
Three days later, Elizabeth's torso was found ashore. The autopsy determined that she was attacked and eaten by a shark. The photos of this tragedy are simply too graphic for this film. Hoping to gain some insight on her last moments, we paid a visit to Sam Forminifera, the park ranger who discovered her body. Tragically, what we have here is her femur is recovered on the beach at Flagler Beach, Florida, south of St. Augustine. Apparently, she was able to move south and then somewhere in the waters in the Atlantic, she was attacked by a bull shark. This is a bull shark tooth. And as you can see, the tooth is almost a perfect match for the serrations and cuts that are in her femur. So, so, so what do you think of Elizabeth? Look, that's not SeaWorld out there. That's the Atlantic Ocean. I guess she was bravely stupid. Bull sharks are all up and down our shorelines. If you're going to swim in the sea, you're going to get bit, and I guess she did. From St. Augustine, we drove 40 miles south to Flagler Beach, Florida. This is the beach where she was found. Tourists snap photos, and surfers still ride waves as if nothing ever occurred. Elizabeth likely swam at least 40 miles before the shark attack. As sea turtles can travel approximately 25 miles a day, that means Elizabeth spent almost two days as a sea turtle. Her goggles were sent back to her mother. I wondered to myself, what did she want? But I remember her through this photo, in stillness, at peace. <laughs>